Your attention span is absolute garbage. You might have not realized this yet, but it probably is. You can't focus on one task for more than half an hour without checking your phone. You can't read a paragraph without your mind wandering. You have already scrolled down to see the comments or the recommended videos to the side. So how do you improve your attention span? I feel like there are three main things that everybody can do to improve their attention tremendously. The first and probably most important thing is limiting your social media usage as much as possible. This will improve your attention span drastically because of the way social media trains your brain to act. Social media is designed to give you short bursts of stimulation with very short periods of time in between. Instagram for example. You're scrolling down, you see an interesting post, boom, you just got a dopamine hit. You forcefully let out some air out of your nose. <laughs> After one or two posts, there is another dopamine hit. This is the bro science way of explaining it. In actual scientific terms, this probably has nothing to do with what I'm saying, but practically, this is what it's like. It's the same with Facebook, Twitter, all of them. The worst offender is probably TikTok. I hate that atrocity with a passion. If you have TikTok installed on your phone, you are a crackhead. Best case scenario here would be you going extreme and just straight up quitting all of that. Don't cope, you don't need any of these things. Uh, but I uh, have to uh, stay informed and about uh, the the the... Bro, stop listening to your lizard brain. Uh, but my Instagram has only informative things, huh? <laughs> Why are you defending the companies that are sucking out your soul? I've literally heard people defending Instagram because their feed has only informative things. Yeah, having tits and ass in your face is very informative. If you care even a tiny little bit about your mental health, you will quit all social media. If it's not for business, if it's not earning you money, you don't need it. You shouldn't be using it, period. The next thing also ties into this. There's this thing called attention residue. It basically means that you have too many things on your brain at one time. I'll give you an example. Let's say you're trying to do some work, working on some project, but you keep checking your phone to see something on Instagram. Or you just got a notification, somebody just messaged you. When you act like this, you're leaving attention residue in all of these places. The thing is that you have a limited amount of attention you can use to accomplish whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. When you're leaving attention residue on all sorts of useless shit, this significantly diminishes your ability to perform at peak capacity and to give your full attention to something. When I had a smartphone, I had it on silent all the time. My phone was on silent for 5 continuous months or something like that. I also had my notifications turned off. When I turned it on, there was nothing on my home screen besides the date and time. This makes it so you don't just turn on your phone and immediately get bombarded with useless dog shit information, which is now occupying an area of your brain for the next 20 minutes. Honestly, if you're trying to do some actual work, you should probably leave your phone somewhere you can't see it, in another room probably, on silent with notifications turned off. You could even go extreme like me with this. I recently got a Nokia 130 because I realized all I was using my smartphone for was bullshit. My Nokia has Bluetooth, I have my gym playlist on it, it's all that I need now. When the business gets more serious I will probably have to switch back to a smartphone but for now the Nokia is perfect. It's weird but I feel way better with it than I did with the other phone. I'm way more unplugged from all the modern bullshit and now I have a lot more brain power to put into important things. You don't have to go to this extreme, it's just something to keep in mind. Consider downgrading if you realize that all you're using your phone for is wasting time. The last thing on the list is mindfulness. Mindfulness is basically a practice where you try to put your entire attention on what's happening in the present moment. A lot of people's preferred mindfulness practice is meditation but there are other forms of it out there. Here you have to do your own research, it's beyond the scope of this video to teach you about meditation and mindfulness. That's basically it. To summarize, you should quit social media, try to not have your attention in too many places at once by unplugging yourself from modern technology, and 
have a mindfulness practice you do each and every day. If you found this video useful and want to see more content from me, subscribe to the channel. I'm all about men's self-improvement. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.